What is going on everyone, it's here again, here for you, some Grand Theft Auto 5 online gameplay, we're doing some races for this particular video with uh, some of my friends, and uh, a couple highlight races uh, for myself, of course, we're not going to be posting up races, hey guys, check it out, I went in third, no, uh, these are going to be races that I won, and they're pretty good races, this race in particular, this first one you're going to be watching, was actually pretty funny, so they enabled custom vehicles, little did everyone realize that my bike, oh, the money I put into my Akuma, ooh, you do not mess with my bike, it's a good bike. I uh, just blow everyone out of the water for this race. But uh, either way, I hope you guys all enjoy the video. Uh, as of late, I've been having difficulty with my capture card, and uh, it's kind of it's kind of peed in the bathwater on this one. My capture card, the Avermedia Media Live Gamer HD, has been screwing up a lot lately. It's becoming uh, increasingly difficult to record uh, anything over five minutes. Um, yeah, doing a let's play, doing a let's play of GTA 5 or Fallout New Vegas or uh, any game, trying to record anything with that capture card, it's getting confusing because that capture card is getting to the point where. Uh, basically, long story short, it's not recording the entire video. You know, I'll record for an hour and only 45 minutes and randomly selected 45 minutes of that particular hour uh, recording will actually show up. So, um, I don't know what to do. Probably got to get a new capture card. Not very happy. The honeymoon phase is definitely over with the Aver Media Live Gamer HD. Uh, don't recommend it. Bad capture card. But, what I want to do for this particular video for you guys today is, uh, not that introduction's out of the way, I would like to go ahead and give kind of a multiplayer review of Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. So I have well over a day's worth of playtime so far, and it usually takes about that, right? Uh, one of the old sayings, you know, it probably takes about 30 hours. You, know, you put 30 hours into a game, especially an online game, and then you can kind of, you can base your opinions pretty well at that point. You've experienced a lot there is to experience. Uh, your opinion is what people, most people will, 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 will see. You know, if you play for 30 hours, you're going to see just by anything that most people end up seeing. Uh, more than 30 hours uh, is not what the average gamer tends to play. Uh, in, in a multiplayer game anyway, so I yeah, put about two days overall of playtime in GTA 5 online. I kind of like uh, my experiences with it. So the launch, right? The launch was awful. It was horrible and they were unprepared. They were undermanned. They didn't expect how many people were going to go into it as well as bad buggy coding and it, bad launch. Bad, 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 bad launch. I, I was one of the people. It only took me like 10 hours to get into the multiplayer servers and since then I haven't had an issue. But other than that, you know, a lot of people have been having difficulty getting into GTA 5 online. Some of you still may be without. Uh, the recent update they pushed through was supposed to fix that. I've heard cases where it has and has not worked yet so far for people. So, I don't know. But, if, assuming, of course, you can actually get on GTA 5 online and play, it is, in my opinion, one of the deepest, uh, most rewarding, uh, fun multiplayer experiences that, that I've had the pleasure of playing uh, in the past couple years here. I'm mainly a Call of Duty person. Everyone says, ah, Nero, oh, all you play is Call of Duty. You're only going to Call of Duty. I have an entire Let's Play channel. I've done full Let's Plays of many different games, and we're doing Let's Plays of different games right now. I, I've been playing games since a lot of you were born, all right? I mean, uh, of course, you know, I'm only 21 years old. There's a lot of you that are watching this that are older than me. There's uh, a lot of you that are a lot younger than me, but uh, I've been gaming a lot of my life. I'm not just Call of Duty person. Call of Duty is just a game I enjoy the most, but I'm pretty good just about everything. You saw my Grand Theft Auto Five uh, sniper montage, right online. Some people can people they they couldn't believe the shots I was hitting so much so that they thought I was faking the video. And all the shots were set up somehow, as if I were able to set up you know someone driving 300 yards away, getting away in a vehicle, me sniping them, you know through through the back window and getting them. And people people are crazy, right? They see something that they see is so good that it's impossible. They cannot fathom they actually did it legitimately. But whatever, whatever. I'm good at a lot of things, right? I do play a lot of different games, and Grand, Th Grand Theft Auto V Online is one of the better games that I've played. It, it's a deep, rewarding experience, right? So with the money system, I like it. The money system built within the game, uh, you can pay for money, you can pay real money to buy money, uh, buy virtual money, virtual currency within the GTA V Online, and I've, I haven't done that. Well, one, you can't, and two, I don't plan on doing it. Solely because earning money within the game is one of the more fun aspects of the game to me. There are so many different ways to to spend your money. You know, if you look back at the previous Rockstar games, and these are the ones I've played. I haven't played, a, a, I'm not a huge Rockstar guy, but I've played Grand Theft Auto 4 online. I've played uh, Red Dead Redemption online. I've played a lot of Red Dead Redemption online, actually. I really enjoy that game. But you look at the, the immersion within the game that you get between Red Dead Redemption Online, or even Grand Theft Auto 4 Online compared to GTA 5 is so much different. It is ridiculous. The free roam aspect alone, the character customization, the character customization is, one of the, is definitely one of the bigger things about the game that I think really sets the game apart from a lot of other ones. You customize, you can customize the holy hell out of your character, you guys. You really can. And it really allows you to, to immerse yourself within, within your character 
it's really fun. Really, really fun. Lots of different ways to earn missions, be it uh, the, the entire um, almost storyline. It's not really like a like a you know, point-to-point storyline, but the, the storyline within the online, that is awesome. Uh, be able to call people, get missions, get jobs. You, know, you can do repo missions for Simeon, or you can go do uh, you know, meth and crack runs uh, for Gerald. You can, go, you can go do things like that. Or you know you can do random missions like you get you get, you get XP for everything you know, you get you get XP and you get money for doing anything like I'm playing with four or five friends right now and we're just racing we're going race to race and we're just racing each other and we're earning money we're earning XP and that money and XP is actually goes for something like I said it's it's a very it's a very deep multiplayer leveling system whereas you know we're improving our driving skill right now we are we're earning money which is you know, of course helping us uh, buy different things uh, winning races helps you to unlock things like some people say that the game is unbalanced it's unfair and that you know you can just get for 1600 microsoft points or whatever the equivalent 20 dollars. i know they did away with microsoft points but for whatever amount of money you can buy like a 1.25 million dollars within in gta money by paying real money and like everyone else is like like what about me i'm over here working for this money meanwhile this guy just goes and buys it the beauty of it is that the, the is that they balance the multiplayer in that money does not it's not it's not a pay to win system right you can have a million dollars Right, and you can go buy yourself a million dollars in GTA money, and you can go ahead and go buy yourself the the Z type, whatever the best damn car in the game, whatever car that is. I don't even know because you don't have any upgrades for your vehicle to actually take your car and improve it and make it better. You need to win races with that style of car. For example, I have a Feltzer. I really like my Feltzer. If I want to continue to upgrade, get up to to the engine modification four and upgrade the transmission and uh, do whatever it is I want to do with the with the vehicle. I need to actually go ahead and win tons of sports car races to be able to do that. It's not a pay to win. It the money doesn't help you, you know. Um, but having having you you buy a million dollars, whatever, with uh, Microsoft points or PlayStation points or however the PlayStation works, right? You go buy a million dollars worth of that with real money. You're it. You're hard earned real life money to buy GTA Five money. What's that gonna do? Buy you a four hundred thousand dollar apartment? Hell no. I couldn't kill that guy because he had four hundred thousand dollar apartment. No, it doesn't help you. You know, uh, you, you you can you can purchase really nice cars. What's that going to do? It's not going to help you unless you actually race and actually play. Then that's not going to hurt you. You know, it's not it's not going to benefit you. I mean, it's like you're not going to be a better racer or a better driver because you have a nice car. You know, just because you can't afford nice things, you have to actually play the game and level up and unlock new things and unlock new missions. And of course, uh, Grand Theft Auto Five is going to continuously. I uh, continue to put out free DLC and I uh, think some actual DLC we, we need to buy uh, over the months here. So that's going to be cool. The game is going to continue to grow. It's going to continue to evolve. That's going to be one of the better parts about Grand Theft Auto 5 Online. And like I said, it's just really immersive. You can really just get lost in this game. And before you know it, you've played for three or four hours. And you're just like, wow, holy crap, I've played this game a lot today. And you hop on, you start riding, cruising around with your friends, you go rob some liquor stores together, you get that three-star wine level, you start riding through the mountains to get away, suddenly you're at a freaking airport. Suddenly you're, you're, you're taking a cargo bob, and you're flying that around, and you're seeing the enemy player, and you try and hook their car through cargo bob, and then you're, li- you're lifting the enemy players in their car up in the air, and you notice they start shooting at you from inside their car, so you drop them from your cargo bob you know, 400 yards down to the ocean, and then they it's a fun game in free roam. It comes with many different kinds of game modes, many different kinds of competitive as well as cooperative missions. It is a fantastic game, Grand Theft Auto 5 Online, and it is... Uh, it's consumed me. It's consumed me over the past week. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys all enjoyed this review. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. And uh, the only thing that I'm going to take away from it that I don't like so far is the fact that you know, it's, it's kind of a crappy launch. It'd be a 10 out of 10 in my opinion if it, the launch went well and everyone was able to play right away and people weren't you know, losing their characters and whatnot. But it's not that hard to get back to where you want to be. So I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. We're going to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves and let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? GTA 5 Online. You guys liking it? I'm really liking it. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. I was banging seven grand rocks as I rolled.